Nerd Morning, Jeremy here with another comic book collecting tip. Today I want to talk about comic book holds. Now these are really, really helpful and really useful for those people who are trying to collect full series and continuously buying comics. So at a comic book shop, you can go up to them and say, hey, what is your comic hold policies and programs? And essentially what a comic book hold is when you go to a comic book shop is that they will go and they will grab all the different comics that you have on a list that you give them for ones that you're interested in buying and they will pull those and have those reserved for you. So some shops do this a little bit differently Essentially, you kind of say, I want Batman, I want Batgirl, I want Wonder Woman, I want Green Lantern, I want Avengers, and Black Panther. Those are the comics that I want. And so on their list, when they get the new comics, and they, they come in, they sort them, they prep them, they do whatever they do, and then they grab all of those titles for you, and they put them in a spot that you then can come in, and pick those up when you visit the comic shop and you have them already ready for you. Now, I really think this is super helpful for people who are like continuous collectors. The reason is, is sometimes there's a title that's really hot, really exciting. Issue 53 is going to be, you know, a massive thing and everyone's suddenly trying to buy that book. And if you can't get into the store, maybe that book series that you're always trying to read Oh, that one's sold out. But if you have a comic hold, then that should be held for you and put in reserve so you have it already and you're good to go. I really think that alone is super worthwhile, but as well that they also might have some benefits by being part of their comics hold program, and that is maybe they will have free comic bags or boards, or maybe they have different discounts or different things like that because comic shops really like having comic book hold customers, particularly if they're going to actually come in and buy them uh, because they then have an anticipated sale and they also kind of have an idea of how many books they should be ordering and that makes it so they're not buying too many things in excess and they're also buying enough. So having comic book hold members at the comic shop really helps the stores and it also helps the customers because they get the books that they're really hoping for. Now some of the different challenges that go into a comic book hold is that it's going to be uh, based off of what they have available. So if they didn't have all the ones that they needed for that. Maybe they had 20 people having on their hold list for a particular title. If they accidentally bought 15, maybe you won't get that one this week. Or there's a level of like human error that could be happening. But ultimately in all of those type of instances, you're going to be better off having the comic book hold and having a mistake on every like rare occasion than if you didn't and they weren't on the shelf anyways. So even with mistakes that could potentially happen, I think overall having a comic book hold is going to put you in a better situation. And since there are often some types of perk involved at the different shops, um, there's gonna be benefits and advantages that way as well. I think that people who are regular comic book buyers should go into their comic book shops and should see what opportunities they have at their store for comic book holds. I think this is a really good tip to help people collect and get the comics that they're hoping for and being able to get them when they're having them available. Um, as terms of comic book hold etiquette, um, I would say that if you're not going to go into the store and pick up every week or every two weeks, that this might not be the best fit for you. Because if you went in and put a bunch of things on a whole list, didn't tell the store, and then they kept on piling and piling up, one, they might just cancel your hold. You might not be eligible to buy and have comic holds with that store anymore because they're suddenly putting things away for you and on reserve that they could have been having on the shelf and could have been selling but since they pulled it off for you they're not able to sell it for some to somebody else and 
So like if you're going to be doing a hold, I would say, you know, expect to be going in regularly, picking up what you're buying um, or putting on hold to actually buy them. And that will make it so it just works really well for you, works really well for the store. You're gonna have a really good regular relationship with the store as well. And I think some of those connections that you can be making because you are a comic books hold member will also have some cool benefits as well. So all of these comic book holds like different advantages or perks are gonna be different from store to store. Some stores don't do comic holds at all. It's first come first serve. Some like really, really depend on comic book holds. I've been to comic shops that pretty much only buy for their hold members and I've seen everything in between. So go and check out your local comic book shop, see what they have to offer. This might be a really good fit for you, but it's something that if you didn't know, hopefully you know about now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and also to subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you guys so much and we'll catch you guys next time.